Hello and welcome, thank you for joining. My name is Damien and I'm an engineer at ST Microelectronics. I'd like to present in this video how the ST25 DV Dynamic Tag can help developers like you uh, solve real life industrial problems. As such, the ST25 DV Tag allows the I2C bus of a microcontroller to interface uh, with the external world uh, via radio frequency interface. The kit is divided in two parts. The first one is the motherboard with the STM32F405 controller. And the other one, the daughterboard, is based on the NFC RFID ST25DB04K device, which is ISO 15693 and NFC Forum Type 5 compliant. Now let me show you the setup. We're using a long range LR1002 reader from our friends at FEG Electronic. The RF reader is connected to a 30x30 30 30 industrial grade antenna also by FEG Electronic. Those are products that you can buy off the shelf. In front of the RF field generated by the antenna, I'm going to place a bag full of ST25DV discovery kits. Those kits can be ordered online at the address shown at the bottom of the screen. With a free software download and an RF reader, we will see how far devices can be detected. This range can be a key factor when detecting switched off items on a production line, for example. Finally, you will need to download and install the ST25PC001 from the ST website. Now let me show you the inventory process on the software. As you launch the ST25PC NFC software, you can see at the bottom right the connection status of the reader. Here it says LR1002 Connect. You click on the reader menu, Inventory, to detect all the tags in front of the antenna. In continue scan mode, the software launches a new inventory process at regular intervals. This allows you to find the range of operation of your tags. As you're watching, all the ST25DV discovery kits from this box are detected within 30 centimeters. In addition to double EPROM memory, where you can store custom data, the ST25DV tag embeds 256 bytes of fast memory. This memory can be used to transfer information quickly between the RF and the I2C interfaces of the tag. One of the applications of this fast transfer mode is to transmit large files of 100 kilobytes from a reader to an electronic device for reprogramming. Let me now show you how the ST25DV tags can be used to reprogram several electronic devices at the same time. The reader setup is the same as for the inventory except for the antenna is now being oriented vertically. I have added four ST25DV discovery kits on a stand over the reader antenna. They are powered through a USB cable and an antenna card is connected to each board. Back to the software, we make sure by running an inventory again that we see all four devices that we want to reprogram. Then we go on tags, ST25DV, Fast Transfer Demos and Firmware Upgrade menu. And here I will select a binary file of about 110 kilobytes that I will send to the boards for reprogramming. You can see that the firmware transfer is happening through all four devices simultaneously. This can be useful to a maintenance or support organization when having to reprogram devices on the field, for example. We have accelerated the transfer that took about 52 seconds with the FEG LR1002 reader. You can see that the CRC was verified successfully on all four devices and that the firmware version has updated to 2.0.0. I hope I got you interested in the potential of ST25DV dynamic tags for industrial applications. Thanks for watching.